Um, another YouTube thing I wanted to make. And this has to do a lot with them little commercials on feeding the starving children in third world countries and stuff. Here's the psychological reality behind that. That money ain't going towards none of them third world country people. It's not. That money is going towards the, the people who are pretty much already rich. Like the king and the queens getting all that stuff and they decide whether or not that that stuff even goes to the village people. Which nine times out of ten, it ain't. I'm just letting you know that right now. It's not going to them. So all this time, like every time they keep showing that same commercial about, you see little, what's her name right here? She has eight and days. And I, I'm trying to understand what is going on with this fly that's always in the eyeball. And trust me, I've, I've, I've been through really bad starvation, so trust me, I understand where the commercial's coming from. Because after a certain point of you not eating, and I've learned this from unfortunate experience, your body will start to go through a thing called cannibalism, where if it don't ingest something in a, in a certain matter of time, it will start to eat itself for survival purposes. Which is bad because once your body starts to eat itself, it'll it'll literally it'll literally literally kill itself doing that. Anyway, but anyway, um, so they keep re-showing the same commercials because they want to keep making money off of you. But the sad thing is, all the money you send over there, it does, like I said, it doesn't go straight to the village people. It goes straight to royalty. They have to okay it to go to the village people. But because of how that system is, that system is set up, it ain't getting to them. Literally, them village people ain't getting that. All that money is going to the celebrity doing the voiceover and the rich people. That's it. And, 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 and oh yeah, here's the other thing. Them places in Africa that they be showing you, Africa is actually doing way better than what they're showing you. They're only showing you the parts that are down bad. They're not even trying to show you the parts that got businesses, schools, homes, grocery stores, all that. They're just showing you the parts that are messed up so you can keep sending them money. Then they keep showing you that commercial every five to seven seconds with that sad singing in the background. Like, really? You're going to keep trying to trick people like that? Really? And my question is, they got a king and a queen over there that should be handling that. Why ain't royalty dealing with that? You got a whole structure over there of people with money and power. You're literally sitting on gold, diamonds, rubies, exotic things. Why ain't anybody building huts for these people? Why is food not being sent over there? Why is a lot of this stuff not being done, but you want to keep asking people from other lands who don't live there to help? Then you got all these people who are already paying churches and pastors, and them pastors are being paid to lie to them. They're already giving them that money from their wallet to uplift God's fallen kingdom, which, um, just to keep it real with you, God's kingdom ain't fallen. God's kingdom is in the heavens. It Okay, just, just, just to clear one stereotype. They say you're supposed to give money to church to help uplift God's fallen kingdom. Uh, what, what, what fallen kingdom? God don't have a kingdom that's fallen. His kingdom is in a whole nother dimension. I mean, a dimension around a whole nother universe. His kingdom ain't down here. Unless they're talking about Earth, which uh, you can't fix this Earth. I don't give a damn how much money you put into this Earth. This Earth is made of a thing called matter. Now, as they say, matter can be, it can be created. It just can't be destroyed. So no matter how much money, which is still matter, and money comes from cotton, not trees, you put into this Earth, no matter how much of it you put into it, it's eventually going to corrode. It will break down. It will decay. All this stuff on this earth is like the human body. It's only good for so long 
and then it depends on who takes care of it. Other than that, this 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 earth is not getting no better. I don't care how much money you put into it. Now they say to uplift God's fallen kingdom. God's kingdom ain't fallen. God's kingdom is in heaven. This 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 earth has nothing to do with God. Trust me. If you've seen God's kingdom, it, it doesn't need no money. And it's funny the Bible tells you that that God's kingdom is in a place where man cannot break in or thief cannot break in and steal nothing and can nothing can corrode. So explain to me what y'all mean when y'all say God's fallen kingdom. Last time I checked, this kingdom ain't broken. It's not fallen. It can't corrode. You can't go in there and steal nothing. So why do you need money for that? Or they might be talking about the church, but here's the thing. Y'all supposed to walk by faith and not by sight. So if God wants your church to be uplifted, why do you need to keep taking money from people to do that? If it's God's will for that church to come up, he'll find a way they don't have to do with you lying to people from a book rewritten a thousand times to get money out of people. He'll find another road that doesn't lead to human bankruptcy all the time. That people that can't pay out their mortgages or their house, no, their car, no, they can't pay for their child's college fund, can't put food in the refrigerator. Shouldn't be a mountain to that. It really shouldn't. But anyway... Them people are already putting their money in the church and other things. So, as far as these people on these commercials about, oh, these terrible country people are starving and need help. They don't tell you the reality that the money you send in, it doesn't go to them. Literally, celebrities try to send money and stuff over there. That stuff don't even go there. It literally does not go there. So how is it that y'all have all this royalty and stuff over there, but ain't nobody been helped yet? And then they only want to show the places in Africa that are down bad, not the ones that are actually doing good. And unfortunately to say America is just so ignorant and blind from the news that y'all feel to realize a lot of these third world countries y'all see on TV, like India, Africa, what is it, Asia, um... India, Africa, and Asia, all, pretty much all the third world countries you see on TV that are down bad ain't really that bad. They're just showing you the parts they want you to see so they can make money off you. But if I, I go to another whole side of the country and then see what it's like, I guarantee you, you'll be mad once you find out what that, what's really going on with that. Just like pastors, if you found out these pastors ain't preaching to you for free, that they get salaries and the church pays them to do that. They're not doing that for free. They're, do, they're, they're being paid to do that. They do get salaries. I don't care what the church, how big or small. That's why they made a thing called a seminary. Because you get a degree and once you get that degree, the church has to pay you. Because you by law know more and you're under the spirit of God. And he touched you and a bunch of other stuff. So they got to pay you. So them pastors ain't struggling. Let's believe that they are not struggling. But anyway, yeah. So I just thought I'd let y'all know all that money y'all sending to them will feed the children commercial stuff is not real. That's a lie. They are not doing that bad. You know, like I said, if they were, then why don't they got you know, they got the kings and the queens over there helping them? shouldn't be our job to help them out every five seconds. Literally, it should not be our job. Now, I mean, I can understand if you got a good heart and you want to help, but you got people in America struggling just as bad as people over there. But you don't see them showing that, do you? Nope, they just show third world countries suffering and that's it. That's it. Like, no matter where you look, somehow you're getting hustled, somehow you're getting played. But anyway, yeah. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, I, if, if it comes back to me, I'll make it in. I'll make it in. Well, no, no, it's coming back to me. So, like I was saying about my dad, as far as his, um, as far as his fatherhood is concerned, 
He gonna be up there looking at Buddha and Confucius and all the other seven teachers. Like they're they're gonna look at him like Jerry, are you serious right now? And the father was like Jerry, are you serious right now? He's like, yep, I don't gotta raise my child. It's it's my free will. I don't got to. They're like. So either you don't have to or you know you messed up, so you're just trying to find any reason to say you're not wrong. And he's like, either way it go, I don't got to do it. I don't care. All right, well, just to have a mercy on you, 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 you can just go back to Earth. Anywho, peace.